Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cryptic Inc. and today I'm going to show you guys how I made these recycled sketchbooks. It was really easy to do and if you've got some basic office supplies, I think anyone can make these little guys without too much effort. So if you're anything like me, you might have some old art papers and sketchbooks lying around. Particularly with sketchbooks, I found a lot of older ones that I hadn't finished drawing in all the way to the back of the book. And sometimes we'd rather get a new sketchbook than finish one we feel like we're done with. So rather than going out and buying all new sketchbooks or paper for this project, you can dig through those old tattered sketchbooks you've held onto and make use of all that paper just sitting there in the back of them. And with a little bit of work, you can turn all these into this. This little sketchbook is perfect for traveling with or taking outside. I made mine with mixed media and watercolor paper from two sketchbooks I had lying around and I'm using it for little gouache and watercolor paintings and studies while I'm sitting outside or at school. I think they're pretty cool and a great way to reuse old art supplies. So without further ado, let's get to it. The supplies you're going to need for this project are paper, of course, um, any kind you like from old sketchbooks or whatever sheets you have at home. You'll need a paper cutter, scissors, or an X-Acto knife. Something to hold the book together with. I'm using the rings from a sketchbook that took a serious speeding for some reason. This thing is messed up. You can also use things like ribbon or string or binder clips if you'd prefer to buy them online. Just something that's going to close in a loop and hold your pages together. You also need a cover material. It can be mat board, scrap, cardboard, or the back of an old sketchbook. I used the back of this sketch pad since it was sturdy. You also need a hole punch, some tape, and an optional corner rounder to make the pages look a little nicer. When you've got all that, let's get started. First, we start off by gathering and cutting the paper. For this project, I'm making the pages 8 by 5 inches in size. I've already got some leftover paper from the sketchbook I just showed you, so this is what they're going to look like. So we're just going to pull some paper from an old sketchbook. I went with brown paper since this one was falling apart and there was a lot left that I could use. Oh, and while I was pulling paper, my snake wanted to see what was going on. He's a ball python and his name is Scraps. He's pretty chill. After you've got your paper, just measure and cut it to size. A paper cutter obviously comes in real handy here, but you can always use a straight edge and an X-Acto knife or some scissors to cut it to the size you want. Once your paper is ready, the next step is to cut two pieces out for the cover. Like I said, I'm using the back of an old sketch pad I was done with. I'm just flipping through the pages for anyone that's curious as to what's inside. They're really old drawings, but I'll probably keep them. So with that, you'll want to measure these to be a little larger than your pages. Take your cover material and add a half inch to your measurements. In my case, the cover is going to be eight and a half by five and a half inches. The material I chose turned out to be way harder to cut than I thought it would be, so I resorted to struggling with the scissors and then finally the X-Acto knife. Eventually I got the cuts I needed without having to start over. I would like to note, uh, make sure you can cut the material you chose for your cover if you want to avoid some headache. Once everything is cut, I just quickly use this corner rounder I have to round out the corners on one side of each page. These are the sides that face outward from where they'll be bound and I think it makes the overall sketchbook look a lot nicer once you're done. Again though, this part is optional. Now I'm putting some masking tape on the left edge of each page. This is where the holes will be, so I use the tape to make the paper a little more sturdy on that end. Then you're going to line up your pages on the hole punch and punch some holes through. If you have a single hole punch, you can measure and mark where your holes will be on each page for more accuracy. But if you have a three hole punch like I do, you can just make sure two of the punches line up on the edge of the page and estimate where it should fall. If your cover material is thin enough for this part, you can punch those as well. But since mine are so thick, I use the holes in the paper to mark where they should be on each cover and then very carefully use scissors to twist some holes through. As you can see, it's not the prettiest option, but it does work. 
You just have to watch your fingers and be as cautious as you normally should be when working with sharp objects. Just be careful. Now that you're done, decorate your covers as you please. It's best to do this before you put your sketchbooks together. I just put some fancy tape on the ends for the time being. From my old and tattered sketchbook, I cut off two rings from the spiral edge. Spiral bound sketchbooks like these are great if you're thinking about throwing them away or not using them anymore. Consider saving the metal rings for future mini sketchbooks like this. You can also use other materials like ribbon or string or pipe cleaners for all we know. Like I said, you can get creative with your projects. It's all about recycling what you have. After you loop these rings through your covers and pages, you're essentially done. Feel free to jazz it up with some stickers and drawings or something. I'm using these stickers I made from my shop since I had some extra. And then I painted it black and presto, it was complete. As I said, making these little sketchbooks is fairly simple and it makes great use of any paper or old sketchbooks you've got lying around. Especially if you're like me and tend to hoard new sketchbooks before finishing old ones. So that's it. Enjoy your new sketchbooks. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye.